There were a lot of big moments, Edie and Brian. This was, as you mentioned, the first time that we got to see these U.S. Senate candidates together. The two, Repu two Democrats and three Republicans up there on stage. And it was really the first time that voters got a chance to see how these candidates differentiate themselves from the competition. As you mentioned, it got heated at times. They sparred over everything from student debt to immigration. Welcome the five leading candidates for U.S. Senate. A highly anticipated night with the five leading candidates together on the same stage in Stockton. One of the topics that resonated most with KCRA 3 viewers, to immigration. Republican, Republican Tom Del Beccaro taking a tough stance. And I would ask us to look differently in immigration. Whatever you thought about immigration before 9-11 and before San Bernardino, we must now understand that immigration is a national security concern. Supposed leaders have conflated criminal justice policy with immigration policy as though they are the same thing and they are not. I am a career prosecutor. I've personally prosecuted everything from low-level offenses to homicides. I have seen some of the worst of crimes, some of the worst of criminals. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal and we have to correct course on this conversation in our country. I'm going to go down to the border right after I get elected. I'm going to spend a lot of time down there until we do secure the border. Then second, with respect to the visa program, if we can track a package from a warehouse in New Jersey to my home in California, we should be able to track those people that are not citizens that are in the United States. And Duff Sunheim questioned Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez's record on the Homeland Security Committee. And there are people on that committee that said that she's never shown up there. So I think okay. that we and need to have people that not only okay. go to and Washington. Now you're, now you're out of time, but you get and the I time. I would like to respond to that, Duff, because I have been to committees and I work very, I'm the number two Democrat on that committee. Sanchez was asked about some of the ways she characterized immigrants in the past. She says some of it was taken out of context. I come from the people. I am of the people. I want to be with the people. And when it comes to guns and criminals, State Attorney General Kamala Harris and Dove Sunheim clashed over her record. With respect to guns, I totally agree with Kamala Harris that we need to keep the guns out of the hands of criminals and people that are mentally unstable. But according to the state auditor, she's failed to do that with her policies as Attorney General. Let's stop with the political attack stuff. Um, the reality is I've taken more guns out of the hands of people who don't uh, legally deserve to have them in the state of California than anybody, and I'm proud of that. Well, that's I'm proud of the work. I'm proud of the work that we have done. Ron Unz had an entirely different view. I don't think the gun control issue either on one way or the other way makes that much difference in crime. What you have are small but very energetic minorities in both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, liberal and conservative, that push the gun control issue and fight each other, even though the impact on crime isn't that great. So after the debate, those candidates made their way to the spin room. It was an opportunity for them to react uh, to some of the back and forth moments that we just saw and also reflect on their performance tonight.